All right. I'm on the berm. This is part of the metropolitan sewer system. And it's just a big old road in a straight line that follows the Neponset River. The Commonwealth just opened a new park. And my friends and I have been eyeing this thing for a while, wondering what its story is. It's part of the old Canton Airport. And it's part of the ongoing effort to make a full trail link to the Warner Trail, not too far from here. So I'm right up by the highway, 95, and they have to figure out some way around it, which may be over here. I'll explore that at some other point. They've got to get underneath the highway, probably close to the river, but I think the river is behind me. And uh, this will take us back down to the little park. And so we go. So that's looking back towards the highway and ultimately goes all the way to the mouth of the Neponset with a few breaks. And this heads south to a new state park in the former Canton Airport. Closed in the 1950s or so, maybe the 60s. And the aim of this is to meet up with the Warner Trail a bit south of here. So here is what has been protected. It's the vastness of Fowl Meadow. And one of the ways you can tell that it's in pretty good shape is that it's largely cat and nine tails, not a lot of fragments. Plenty of wormwood though. More than <laughs> a lot. Oh. And here's another view of this side of the thing on one of the old sewer berm structures. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Now.
Choke cherries are happening, providing bird forage. Pin cherries. And more of this fabulous vista, which seems to be frequented by butterflies. We have some swallow squadrons. I'm not sure. Actually, that looks like a flicker maybe. Another variety of fruit for deer and birds. I forget what that one's called. Uh, and it's mostly pretty open and considering that it's summer, we haven't been clobbered by mosquitoes much. Gee, whatever you do, don't tell anybody this is here. Right, right. Possibly. It might be. Uh, spoke with someone from the DCR. Yeah, they're excited. Yeah. You got any good stuff? Those are the wobblers and stuff I made. Nah, they 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 already headed out. They head out early because they got to go all the way to Trini. <laughs> There's sort of. There's echelons of them. There's still some around. Yeah. This is, you go here for them in spring. This would probably be an outstanding spring in migration warbler site. It's got everything they like. Nah. Well, he did. He just drove out and to see who was here. I mean, and they. So that gets you all the way to the mouth of the river eventually in Boston, and this gets you out to the head of the river, places like Walpole and Sharon. And it's the old berm again. Burma Road, I guess that's why they called it that. 
Burma. It's our old pal Burma Road and yet another guys. Just uh, beckon. Yeah. Some more of a sense of it. This is a very extensive and healthy cat and nine tail field. That's how you tell the wetlands condition. If it was wrecked, it would be full of fragmite reeds. Lots of milkweed for the monarchs. Ah, there's a vista. <laughs> it's, really expensive. Well, it's really something.